turn uh, uh, to the other big story, and if we just hang in for the, the hang in there for that, there's finally some good news for lenders who are dealing with a building and a bulging NPA menace. CNBC TV18 learns that two companies specifically, and that is JP Infratech and JSPL, have just about managed to avoid a default situation. In fact, Ritu Singh has been tracking that story. She's already with us, and Nisha Podar as well is joining in to take us through the details. So, Ritu, I'll come to you first. How exactly has JP Infratech managed to save face, and what's the road ahead now? Well, it was on a brink of a default is what we understand and Manoj Kaur uh, has been able to save JP Infratech from becoming a non-performing asset in the books of the banks. As of 31st of March, we understand from our sources that there were critical dues of about 80 crores that JP Infratech had to service and we understand it has been able to conclude a land deal with the lenders wherein it has swapped 600 crores worth of land in uh, uh, around the Yamuna Expressway in Noida uh, in lieu of that debt and has been able to keep the account standard. Now, uh, also remember, we understand that JP Associates and JP Infratech, both of these accounts had been identified under RBI's Asset Quality Review to be classified as non-performing assets for certain banks. And now that it has been reversed to standard, uh, the bankers to JP Infratech uh, do plan to approach the Reserve Bank of India to allow them to keep this account as standard. Remember, there is 8,000 crores of debt that JP Infratech is sitting on and the consortium of lenders is headed by IDBI Bank. But another interesting development here is that uh, JP JP Infratech has also submitted a long-term plan for bringing down this debt burden. What it has offered is two parts. One, that it will offer about 3,500 crore of land in the long term to bring down its debt burden. And two, it will securitize uh, the Yamuna Atoll Expressway for about 15 to 2,000 crore is what it will raise uh, from uh, lenders outside of the current consortium. So we understand that JP Infratech is already in talks with Yes Bank, with IDFC Bank and LNT Finance to raise this additional amount part of which will be kept aside in an escrow account, which is 600 crores to service debt, and the remaining bulk of it will be used to finish its Wishtown project in Noida. JP, of course, did not respond to our queries. All right, Nisha, coming to you now. GSPL is on a roll as lenders manage to avert the default situation by putting part of the loan under 525. What are you picking up? Huge relief, clearly, for the lenders. Oh, that's right, and that's what is reflected in the share price as well, uh, Kritika. In fact, in the middle of the trading session today, suddenly the stock spiked up by almost 7% because the, that was clearly a relief rally coming in. Since morning, traders, dealers, everybody had been speculating that there will be a huge amount of default on uh, the JSPL account, and it could be considered an NPA. So the classification of JSPL on the uh, books of uh, the banks was a huge cause of concern for the shareholders and for the markets. But the rally... Uh, really came in and we did gather from sources who are directly involved in the situation of JSPL that 45,000 crore rupees of debt is a big worry for lenders but some lenders have managed to put a portion of their entire debt that is 2,500 odd crore rupees as refinanced under 5 by 25 which means that some of the pressure of repayment of principal amount would be taken off from JSPL which is finding it difficult to uh, really service the huge amount of debt they have on the books. Remember, the big amount of worry for the lenders is also coming in because of the commercial papers in which JSPL is said to have defaulted to the mutual fund industry. So that is a big concern, but at the moment that uh, particular situation is averted for the last financial year is what I do gather. All right, ladies, thanks for joining in with both those exclusive details. Of